All right, so here's another tricky looking one. And, um, you know, I'm seeing a composite function again. I got sine of the square root of x. So I've got a square root into sine function. So I'm going to let w equal the inside function, which is the square root of x. And then uh, dw is equal to 1 half, right? This is the same thing as x to the 1 half, right? So when I differentiate both sides, I get 1 half x to the minus 1 half um, dx. Okay, um, and x to the minus 1 half is just 1 over x squared. So that, or sorry, that's 1 over x square root of x, I mean. <laughs> and so um, we can just multiply both sides by 2. So dw is equal to, I'll just write this as 1 over square root of x uh, dx. Okay, so you can see the substitution that we're going to make now. So let's do that. So we get the integral of the sine of w times 2 dw. Okay, so we bring the 2 out front, and the integral of sine is the minus cosine. So, um, So we're going to get minus 2 cosine of w plus c. Okay, and then just rewrite it in terms of x. So minus 2 cosine, w is the square root of x, so we'll just put that in there, and plus c. And there you go.